Hi everyone! Welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I wanted to say hi and uh, welcome uh, to my first week of doing weeklies rather than dailies. I hope you guys will understand. I, I just can't seem to fit the dailies into my schedule like I prefer. But I just so want to stay connected with you. So of course I'm offering uh, live streams and memberships and all of that. You can check that out on my on my channel, on my page, on my YouTube page. But anyway, this reading will be for uh, Sunday, October 3rd through Saturday, October 9th. And uh, we'll, I'll go in depth and look and see what's coming up for the week for us. And of course, um, as always, it's, you know, to see whatever it is that we need to sometimes shed from our uh, souls in order to, uh, in order to shine brightly the, the truth of who we, we truly are. And other times it's about just acknowledging who we truly are and being with that. So, and then of course, the mixtures and all the degrees of in between, <laughs> which is human life. So anyway, let me get the camera dropped down and um, we'll see what's coming up for the week. So I'll be using the Lightseer's Tarot for this week. And like I said, it's going to be, um, this reading will be from October 3rd. It will be in effect from October 3rd through the 9th. October 3rd through the 9th. So what is it that we need to know? Oops, let me um, allow for reversals here. Okay. All right. So what is it that we need to know in order to heal, in order to be free? and experience who we truly are. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Cups. The Devil! No, not him! Nine of Swords reversed. Five of Swords straight up, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay. All right. So, not to worry about this guy here. That card is just basically, I mean, just look at the picture. It's like basically, don't, don't, <laughs> don't take that hand of fear, right? Don't, don't allow yourself to indulge in that. Um, and, you know, because our theme here is the Nine of Swords reversed, I feel like it it has more to do with just any old negative patterns of thinking. You know, because this dude is, is totally wrapped up in negativity. L look at right here. I mean, just check that out. If I can get that up there with no glare. N not his belly button, but look at, look at, look at that guy. I mean, look at that. Like, no, I don't want to listen to that anymore. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So I always remember Louise Hay back in the day saying, oh, thank you for sharing. <laughs> you know, like if her lower self were to, were to jump up and say something that wasn't, wasn't good, she would, you know, any, any form of negativity, she would, she would say, oh, thank you for sharing. And then basically ignore it. So... Uh, because the, I'm not talking about healthy fear here. This is, notice the chords here. Notice the like finger puppet kind of, you know, strings. Don't allow yourself to be a tool for the dark forces. Don't allow yourself to be uh, manipulated. Don't, when the negativity comes in with this Nine of Swords reversed, uh, this has us with the... Um, possibility, the opportunity is to face our fears. He is all about fear. And, and you can see that politically, what's going on, you know, what, what has been, well, it's been going on forever. For The way to control and manipulate is to get people to hate each other and, and be afraid of each other. 
And that is literally, in a nutshell, what is going on and has been going on forever. I, because it sells, you know. Addiction sell, sex sells, um, manipulation and fear, it sells, it makes money, it gives, it gives the, you know, it gives the, it gives the people that want to make money off of it, it gives them material. So it's just, you know, if you can get out of that, if we can face our fears, if we can avoid going into that negativity, the only way we can do that is to stay in our hearts. Stay in our hearts. Stay out of our heads that wants to, you know, it, this is a dualistic conflict. This card is all about trying to win. It, it does not create win-win situations. It, it's in that realm of duality where it's either or. It's not and. So it's either good or bad right or wrong. So it doesn't allow for two people being able to be right, or both people being able to be wrong. But I don't know, you know, me, for me, it's like if I have a painful experience in my life, I always, I always tend to look for that, even if it's just 1% where I was wrong, and you know, especially in a relationship, then I can work with that because that's where I can bring in my own self-responsibility. So, in this realm, we're faced with making a choice that puts us in a double bind because there's no win-win situation in, in this realm. This is winner versus loser. This is right versus wrong. It's, you know, it's right or wrong, bad or good, uh, you know, I win, you lose, that type of thing, um, pain or pleasure, you know, and those of us who have even half of a functioning brain, it's easy to understand <laughs> that life is pain and pleasure. There is good and bad. There is right and wrong. And it doesn't mean that somebody is totally bad or totally awful or, you know, I mean, there's, it's just not how people are. People are complicated. Um, so, when you're in that realm with this Ten of Pentacles reversed, that can that can have us in that place where we're feeling separated from our family, where there's some instability going on, and and there's a lot of fighting and there's a lot of arguments and there's a lot of um you know, wanting to be somebody wants to be right, somebody wants to defeat someone else. If that's what's going on, just open your heart to yourself. Face the fear of the fact that you might have to just take some time to yourself. and But don't take the bait. Do not take the bait. That's, that's the major thing I'm seeing with these cards. So now that that has been said, because that had to be said, obviously. I just wouldn't have drawn those cards. I'm... I got this new deck. It's called the Shamanic Healing Oracle. Where's the little book? Have I lost the book already? What did I do with the little book? Because I put... Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. It's always right in front of me. <laughs> here we go. Michelle Mat Matusas? <laughs> or it might be Motusas. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. But it's just gorgeous. You'll love it. So let's see, because we need something else with those cards. <laughs> I'm not going to leave you hanging. What else do we need to know for this week? October 3rd through the 9th, 2021. I mean, yeah, we're, it's Mercury retrograde, and it's, it's conjuncting the Sun and Mars and Libra, so the propensity for arguments is very possible. Pluto is going to go direct this week, though. The, the main problem with that uh, Mercury retrograde is that it, it's it's opposing um, 
well, the Sun and Mars, the whole, the whole conglomerate there, it's opposing Chiron, so it can trigger those old wounds. And especially right now, while well, Venus, until the 7th, Venus will be in Scorpio, so it can, you know, you have to be careful about just, like, cutting people off. But then again, maybe some people need to be not there anymore. Ah, <sighs> but Pluto's going to go direct on the 6th, so that'll be nice. At the same time, we have that new moon in Libra. I, I think we're going to get somewhere, and I think that things politically are going to get better. Maybe, you know, news coming out about things that were awful, but I think some justice is going to come through, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Divine timing past, present, and future changes. Oh, that's what I was just saying. Unlimited possibilities. Yeah, because we have Neptune and Pisces. And um, Pallas Athena, this other asteroid that has to do with, uh, you know, our creative genius coming through. Ha, this is awesome. So, Here's our theme. So be open for changes. Be open to change that can heal the past and bring in, if you're present with your pain and you're present with your, you're allowing your real self to come through, yeah, you do have to dive into the past sometimes to heal that, but then it will cause you to be more present in the moment and that shifts the future. So, there's divine timing that comes through for each one of us as we're open to change. We all have a, our own unique path our, and our own unique uh, you know, trajectory that we're supposed to go on, which I guess is another way of saying path. But sometimes that path can meander back and forth you know, into the past because we have to heal something. And, you know, for if we're not happy and we're not in truth, now you don't have to be perfectly happy and completely blissed out all the time because it's just, I don't know that that's possible here on earth, honestly. Um, I, I've never experienced it where you're just totally blissed out 100%. No, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> we would be somewhere else. Um, so... When when we're healing, when we're on our path, what, what happens is is that we go back into the past, and in any place that keeps coming up to where we're we're not happy with ourselves, even though the outer world can be in an awful state, if we're not happy with ourselves, we're not in truth. So we have to go back and heal where heal these places that we just didn't totally have ourselves back yet, you know, because of trauma. But the more we do that work, the more our divine timing comes through, the more we're in, you know, in sync with what we're supposed to be doing and when we're supposed to be doing it. And then we're not afraid of changes anymore. And then that opens up this realm of unlimited possibilities. And so to do that, to go back into the past and heal and to be in that state of change does open up our divine feminine because, the, you know, our, our masculine side of us, you know, we all have a masculine and feminine side inside of ourselves. And in the spirit world, it's not separate. It's all one, you know, energy and consciousness. It's, it's feminine energy and masculine consciousness. And I'm not saying that if you're feminine, you don't have consciousness. I'm saying <laughs> in the spiritual world, in the highest, you know, realms of the spirit world, there's no separation between the two. Feminine energy receives and masculine energy gives. It's just like the yin-yang symbol. You know, one, one side is up giving and the other side is receiving. But they're fused together in the reality of, of, of truth. So, so to be more open to receiving, to be more open to giving your feminine energy out there, which re receives others. So it's not just you receiving, it's, it's you receiving others. And that will open up that divine timing. And the, the un, unlimited possibilities, they're always there. But I think the key, I love spirals, I think the key is to be willing to change. And 
you know, Uranus is in Taurus right now, and it will be for another few years. So it's all about change. It's all about making changes that bring in more safety and more bliss and more happiness and more, um, all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, well, that's all I have. I, and I'll, I'll be back next week. Okay, you guys. Take good care. Bye.